I'm going to do a video today, and it's a video, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, information on this throughout the years, uh, a lot of thinking about it, having to do with technology. Um, I did a series, uh, Image of the Beast, where, if you haven't watched that, you should watch that um, later if you want, but it gives more information. Um, basically, technology is coming in the end as part of the beast system, and I think, I'm going to, I can prove it um, unequivocally, but in this video I'm only going to give information um, almost like a very uh, narrow outline because I'm not going to do a long series unless I feel like uh, people really want me to give them all the information. I've decided that I'm going to do this video and just give the bones and if you want all, all the other information let me know and I'll, and I'll consider doing the series which will probably be between three and six videos. Um, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the devil, Satan, is a counterfeit. He counterfeits what God does. And Satan's counterfeit for man is the computer. It is his counterfeit. Make no mistake about it. Okay? Um, I'm going to prove it very uh, narrowly here. But, like I said, if you want more information, i got plenty of information. Um, man was created out of the dust of the earth. God formed man out of the dust of the earth. If you know anything about computers, they're composed of silicone. Silicon Valley, it's sand, it's dust. Silicon is basically, and, and I'll, here I have this small definition, silicon is the most common element in the universe by mass, but very rarely occurs as a pure free element in nature. It is most widely distributed in dust and sands. So. God is saying that he created man from the dust of the earth. Because silicon is the most common ingredient for the microchip, that's what they use. It's basically created from the dust of the earth. Okay, that's just right there. That's just the hardware. That's just the, the, the physical. Okay, so right there, both man and computers are created from the dust of the earth. It's as, it's as clear as crystal. You couldn't mess it up if you tried. Man also has spirit. Man has a body. Man has a spirit. Our spirit is light or fire or electricity. If you know anything about the human body, it doesn't work separate from electricity. Go do some research on the cells of the body or, or the brain, wavelengths. It's all electricity. Our neurons in our brain make fire because of electricity. Our body it uses electricity immensely. Okay because we have a spirit, and that spirit is electrical, okay? If you want more information, I'll do the series, but that's all I'm going to go for there. Computers also have a spirit in terms of the electricity, whether it is in the form of a power plug or in the form of a battery, because batteries have cells. You know, a battery is actually it's cells. Okay, just like the human body has cells, and the human body, those cells use electricity, and the battery cells are, are electrical, okay? And they power, they're the power of the computer. So, just like the body uses, see, the body has a spirit, but truly it's electricity. That's really what it is at the end of the day. It's fire, it's light, it's electricity, that's what it is, okay? And computers do not work separate from electricity. Have to have electricity, which is a counterfeit of the spirit. Electricity, plugging something into your wall, that's a counterfeit of the spirit, especially comprised of a computer. Now, like I said, I can go in depth more, but I'm, I'm not going to. Um, okay, man's soul. This is really where, if I do that series, you're going to have to pay attention. But I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to give you what I got, and if you're interested, let me know. Man's soul is the blood. It's the blood. That's man's soul. Or our software. That's what it's about. Your heart doesn't feel. The blood in your heart feels. And your brain does not think. The blood in your brain thinks. We are blood. The life is in the blood. 
Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed his blood for you. And the Bible said, the Bible says, let me just grab this real quick. I'll do this one right here. Um, Isaiah 53, 10. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. It says it right there. Isaiah 53, 10. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. What was Jesus' offering for our sins? Wasn't, wasn't it his blood? Look, I have, I have plenty of information. I'm just not going to do a video series that's an hour and a half long for no reason. If you want it, let me know. But it is the blood. That's our software. And our software is our soul. Okay? We are body, we are spirit, and we are soul. Okay? And I'm telling you, the body, you can see it. It's right here. The spirit, you cannot see it, except from the electricity in our cells and the electricity in the brain. You can see it working. I'm not saying that our spirit is purely a neuron firing. No. Our spirit is life within us. But it is electricity, and when the neuron fires, that is spirit. Trust me, it's spirit. Okay? And we are soul. And our souls are going to survive. It's going to survive long after death. And I'm telling you, it's the blood. Now, there's a small chance that compass within the blood, in some metaphysical that I cannot understand, that the aspect's there. That it's not necessarily the blood, but it's, it's in the blood. It works in the blood. It's there. But I don't care about getting to the nitty-gritty of it. I don't care. That's not the, the reason I do these videos. I do these videos to, to broaden your mind, to give you things to think about. Okay? And right now, I feel very confident and very spiritual to tell you it's the blood. Okay? Now, it might, be, it might go deeper than that. I don't know. But we don't really need to go deeper in order to understand the essentials of what I'm saying. If you want to go deeper, go deeper. But if, if it's the blood or if it's a component of the blood, then that's what it is. It's the blood. Our soul is the blood. We are blood. We are. It's the blood. That's our soul. That's who we are. The life is in the blood. Everything. When when Cain when when Cain killed Abel, God said, "Your your your brother's blood cries out to me. It cries out to me from the ground." Abel's body wasn't crying out. His blood was. Now. And this is when you got to go watch uh, the video series I did on Image of the Beast if you want to. But in the end times, because right now it's said that computers have a body, the hardware, the computer chip, the body, the uh, electricity, the spirit, and the soul, not really. They don't really have it. They have software, and software is written onto hardware. But make no mistake about it, software is still physical because it's written. It writes onto the uh, disk drive. It writes onto the BIOS or whatever. It's still there. It's still physical. It's just, just like our blood writes onto our heart, just like our blood writes onto our brain. The software is written onto the hard disk or the BIOS. It, it's, it's, it, but it's important you understand that the software is still physical. It's just a different type of physical. Just like our blood is still physical, but it's a different type. It does the writing. So, basically, that's what I'm saying. Right now, all there is is software. We're com computer programmers are programming software that, that the computer computes, and it does its thing. But they're trying to, to twist it. Artificial intelligence, AI, a computer thinking for itself. Not doing what you tell it to do, like a robot. No, it does its own thing. It thinks for itself. It knows for itself. It knows. This computer don't know. The one I'm talking to, it don't know. But they're trying to make one that knows. Okay? And I'm telling you, when that happens, computers bleed. Because they will have a soul. Now, I say that just to kind of give you a little chew on, but really, if you watch my other video, it's a deception. Computers are never going to have a soul. They will get possessed by entities God created, they will get possessed. So they will, at that time, be body, spirit, and soul. Not because they actually have a soul, but because they are becoming possessed. 
they will be possessed. And that possession will mimic a soul. The world will call it AI, a computer thinking for itself. But really it's a demon-possessed computer, or a fallen angel possessing a computer, or Satan himself possessing a computer. But it's all spiritual, the spiritual realm. Okay? And angels, the Bible says that hell was created for the devil and his angels. And that the dragon, the Satan in the end, he's thrown in with the Antichrist and the false prophet. So, I don't know if angels have souls. I don't know. But they're immortal. Because the Bible is very clear. They're going to they're gonna be in hell forever. So, if you understand a human being's soul, that's what makes us immortal. Because we have a soul. So, I don't care if they have a soul or not. They're immortal. Okay? So, when they possess a computer, that mimics the soul. Because they are immortal. Okay? So, you need to understand that. And I explained that the image of the beast in my video series, the image of the beast will be possessed by Satan himself. The world will call it AI. This computer will talk. It will tell you what to do. It will be like a human being. But it will be a statue. And it will be a computer, a replica of the beast. And it will speak and cause, and it will do all these things. And it will literally look like a human being, a computer that's come to life. But really, it has no soul, it has not come to life, it's been possessed by Satan. So it'll mimic the body, the computer chip, the, the, the spirit, the electricity, via lightning, it'll have electricity or the spirit. And now, because Satan possessed it, it'll have kind of a soul.